This video covers Lab 4 of the ERP SIM production process. This uh, video is following the textbook, ERP SIM SAP Labs and Textbook, the third edition. It presumes you have some SAP ERP SIM experience. It also presumes you've watched the four videos of covering the ERP SIM production process. Watch those four videos if you have not. It also presumes you're completing Lab 4. <laughs> if you're not, I'm not sure why you're watching this video. Lab 4 is an unmarked lab within the textbook using some of the concepts from the different sections pulled together into a lab to kind of test your abilities. This video is showing the SAP GUI without any type of Fiori enhancements. So just realize it kind of looks like the ECC version of SAP GUI. Some Lab 4 prerequisites. So before you jump into this, your instructor should have assigned your server, client, either a company code or a user ID, your product, your forecast, all of those things should have been given to you. And if they weren't, it kind of depends on how your instructor is setting this up, but you need to have that information before you can get started. You also need the Lab 4 Word document. Your instructor should have provided this for you as well. And realize if you're working as part of a group on this, and if you're completing it by yourself, no, no worries, but if you're completing this as part of a group, one person at a time needs to do this. So you can't all work on it at once, one person at a time, and make sure you delete the previous forecast before you move forward. If it's just one person who's doing this, no worries, you're, you're good. Realize that this is a lot of button pushing within this. The job aid itself will actually walk you through the processes, but realize the job aid presumes you know what you're doing and you just need a refresher. So don't realize if you don't feel feel like you need to memorize any of this, but the realize that the job aid can help you. It shows the entire production process. In addition, it gives you the game's parameters, details, and all that kind of stuff. All right, so I have Lab 4 here, and I have the GUI set up. Um, I'm going to create 16,000 of the 500 gram nut muesli. That's what I've been assigned. So within Lab 4, and uh, kind of a, a real, if, you, if you're watching this and curious, the idea behind Lab 4 used to be that this was referred to as an exam. So I was pretty um, adamant about how I went about creating these and what people needed to do. You can read through this, and it might be more exam-oriented within your course, but just realize I'm give, kind of giving you the answers here as well. <laughs> So what we're looking for within Lab 4 is your ability to kind of just do this on your own. You are showing us that you can manufacture some products. So the grading, it says 50 points here. It depends on your instructor, how much that's actually worth. Uh, there's point deductions that are listed here. I'm really, I, I've left this in here just so you can kind of see. This used to be something that I was more adamant about and made it more of an exam. It's really, it could be the points are taken off for this, but again, it's more so just working through this process. The idea with this is that you have some kind of general guidelines, some general instructions, and can you understand them? So you have, or be posting screenshots throughout this. The screenshots need to be legible. So just like SAP Labs 1 through 3, if your instructor can't read, what your screenshot is, well, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> we need to be able to see your screenshot. So make sure you've cropped it down and that it's large enough to see. So the first couple of questions here should be fairly straightforward. What is your company code, your company letter? So I have company Y, so I'm YY here. What is your product? 500 gram nut muesli. Make sure that you put in the product you were actually assigned. My forecast is 16,000. So the question here, update the sales forecast to reflect only your product and its forecast. Post a screenshot of the completed sales forecast transaction here. There are multiple things you have to do to make that happen. So uh, let's look at the, oh, the job aid. So we're using this transaction here, MD61, to set up the sales forecast. D61, following the job aid, select product group, oh, 
y on x, xx dash f. And tell that in the selection screen. You can see that I'm in plant xx, so that means that my product group is going to be following that. xx dash f. And I'm doing the half kilogram nut muesli, and this isn't showing me the label here, so I have to use the job aid. All of them are listed here. So I know that I am the half kilogram nut muesli, so it's dollar sign, dollar sign, dash F01 in column number two. In forecasted two, and I want my forecast to be 16,000. This is not a good strategic decision, but it's good for lamp four because you're going to quickly produce and sell this. So I have this in place, XXF01. And I want to get a screenshot of this so that I can show my instructor that I have uh, the, the right screen, the, the right transaction that I'm using here. So uh, your preference for this, whatever you want to use, I'm going to use the Windows Snipping tool. This to be legible so I can, I'm showing XS, XX-F01 and 16,000 for forecast. Here and that's it. This one here, update the sales forecast, reflect your product and its forecast. Post a screenshot of the completed sales forecast transaction here. There it is, 16,000. I better change this to FX or I'll lose some points. There go. Here, I want to save. Okay, <clears throat> the next item. Run MRP and then convert the purchase requisitions, PRs, to purchase orders, POs. Post the screenshot of the PR to PO conversion results here. All right. Using the job aid, see that MRP is MD01. Just shooting MRP. Pressing enter multiple times. Go. And what it's specifically looking for within this is post the screenshot of the purchase requisition to purchase order conversion results here. So I'm going to ME59N next. ME59N. Execute. These are the results that I'm looking for. This is what you're going to be taking a screenshot of. Go. The screenshot of the purchase requisition, purchase requisitions, to purchase order conversion results. Purchase orders, these are the purchase requisitions. This is what I'm looking for. Once your raw materials are delivered, post the applicable SAP SAP ERP SIM report, clearly noting the delivery of the raw material POs in question five. <clears throat> the only way I can do that within PO tracking DME2N. Un unconfirmed, not scheduled. So this is asking for clearly noting delivery of the raw material. I actually have the relation paused. Menu. It's showing expected around one day two. Viewer likely have access to, depends on how you're doing this. Around one day two. Delivered, and that's what I'm looking for here. Clearly noting delivery of the raw material POs. Go, delivered. Start the manufacture of your product. So I have the raw materials in place. Once manufacturing of your product has completed, post the applicable SAP ERP SIM report, 
clearly noted the confirmed completion of your product in the forecasted quantity. So once I have converted this, to go over to collective conversion of plan orders, C041. Select my product, kilogram nut muesli, 16,000, convert. And then what this is specifically asking for is the report, which notes the confirmed completion of my product. Only place for that is in the production schedule. DCOOIS. So this is showing not scheduled. As soon as a simulated day has passed, it's there. There we go. So it's showing that it is confirmed. So round one, day four, round one, day four, confirmed. Out of that. You've created your product and it is confirmed once all of your product has been sold. Post the applicable SAP ERP SIM report, clearly noting the sale of your product in the forecasted quantity here. So oh, you might think, well, we can look at the inventory, but we don't want to do that. We want to see that it has sold. Nothing is in here, so hopefully the day passes. Well, probably end up all in here. working through only person selling so it's all selling there we go and if you want to <laughs> calculate all of that you're welcome to uh -oh, come in here all the sales that are taking place <laughs> uh Okay, I think that's about it for sales. And if you want to do the calculation here, more so what I uh, what, what your instructor is likely looking for is that you have that you have just sales for the 500 gram nut muesli. This one. And paste it in. Created your product, it's confirmed. This is clearly noting the sale of your product in the forecasted quantity. So make sure you've sold everything, and uh, this is pretty close, I would assume. Once you are finished, manufacture this exact quantity of your product once more. Once all of your product has been sold again, post the applicable SAP ERB SIM report, clearly noting the sale of your product in the forecasted quantity here. And that is the same one as this. So as soon as this is finished, In, plug off, and I don't need to change the forecast, so all I need to do is MD01. So I'm just repeating the process. Don't know this uh, little code here, it's forward slash N, ME59N, takes you to a new transaction. tracking and it's unconfirmed okay expected round one day seven i am starting and stopping the simulation so i can move pretty quickly through as you are working on this it's probably going to take you a little bit longer to get through it and it's, it's probably going to take a, a little a bit longer for the delivery so just realize the first 10 days of the simulation Delivery ends up being the next simulated day, and I'm trying to take advantage of that for this video so it doesn't take forever. When you're doing this, it's going to be different. Clifford, uh, once you get past day 10, it takes a little bit longer for a run through. Select, convert. And I don't even have to check the schedule, but hey, why not?
go. It's in there. It's confirmed. ZBA05. And now we're looking for the sales. Once they've all come through, five. There we go. So once we've gotten it's funny, these are actually some fairly small orders here. They're usually a bit bigger than that. Don't always have so many of these. Once it's all gone through, and I'm just going to assume that it's at that point. Another sales report. All right, so I have it in there. Um, so there we go. Uh, that I have now completed lab four. It's basically doing the production process twice. And again, do realize that the first 10 days of the simulation, it the delivery isn't, uh, okay, <laughs> let me jump over here. On the job aid, it shows that the lead time for suppliers is one to five days. The first 10 days of the simulation, it's always the very next day. Once it gets past day 10, it always takes a bit longer for delivery. So just realize it's somewhere between one and five days, so it will take a little bit longer. But that is all you have to do for Lab 4.